What up, Doke Hunters? We got a ton of stuff to cover in this video. We got free stones. We got Ella, Rose, AZA info. We've got data downloads on both versions of the game. There's so much to cover, but I got to fit it all into one video because I've been spending all day setting up this new PC. So if there are any audio irregularities, if there's any visual issues that you guys might notice in the next few videos, feel free to let me know in the comments down below because I'm going to be kind of troubleshooting, making sure everything is working the same. Uh, I am trying to do this to get ready for the arrival of the second channel's first video later on this month. So it's been chaos. So hopefully you guys are able to watch this video with no problem. I think the sound should be good, but feel free to let me know. I appreciate your guys' input. So let's start by talking about the free stones. The free stones that both versions are getting for the worldwide download celebration. 30 stones coming in. Ton of thanks. Obviously, this is what we were going to get at the end of the celebration. Big thank you for being a part of the worldwide download, yada, yada, yada. So we got 30 stones. It is in your gift box right now. That's it. That's all you need to know. But what's interesting is that along with this message, they also gave us this little excerpt. I don't know why they attached this to this one, but whatever. So starting November 15th, which is a Wednesday, a new type of item will become available. Link skill orb, which can be used to level up any link skill, will soon be implemented. Now, that's all we know. If you don't know anything more about this, if there's any other information that we do know from data downloads, I will post something in the pinned comment. I'm sure there'll be a lot of things that I need to clarify down there. So please check the pinned comment down below. But as of me recording this video, I don't believe that there's anything that we know of at the moment. So what I would imagine that a Link skill orb would probably end up being would just be something like if your big bad boss Link is at level nine and you have that unfortunate health restriction and you want to jump into the next event, but you don't have the means to get that level nine to a level 10 because either you don't have a tune key or maybe you just don't have the patience to go through the arduous grind of a 30-4. So you just equip a link skill orb to get your big bad boss level nine to level 10. You don't longer have to worry about that health restriction. Boom, you're good to go. I think that's what it is. But as far as what it could be, we'll have to wait and find out. Feel free to speculate away in the comments down below. Uh, and I like how they say this, in response to everyone's expectations and support, the operation team will continue to do our best to bring more thrills and excitement to you all in the future. Again, my, I, 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 I'm kind of getting a little passive aggressive from this. I mean, this is obviously corporate doublespeak, but it just, it kind of seems like a, uh, we hear you, shut up, we're working on it, be quiet. I don't know, is, is that just me? I kind of get that feeling from it. Anyway, uh, 30 stones, that's all we care about. We're happy about that. We stand Dokon. Then we got the data download. So Global's data download is a little bit more than JP's. As usual, 696 for Global, 661 for JP. Uh, let's start with the big news coming up tonight. Folks, we are getting the LR Goku Black Rose EZA, not just JP, but Global as well. So as you can see here on the JP news, it does show that along with this new event, the same situation is taking place on the Global side as well. They retroactively added this into the scheduling, just like I said that they would. Although it's a day before the end of the celebration. It's just so like this just screams disorganized. Something had to have happened over there. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's the chaos from the eventual synchro that's causing all of this problems. But both versions are getting the LR Goku Black Rose EZA. It's going to be dropping tonight. So in less than four hours from me posting this video, we will be having this EZA drop. I will be going live on the channel for two reasons. Number one, to do the EZA. But number two, I also want to test out and make sure that all of my settings are working. So I'm going to need you guys to help me out over there. But this is going to be dropping tonight. And then it's going to be ending in about 13 days. So less than two weeks, we're going to have this EZA available. The Dokkan event being available daily is only going to be happening for six days. This is just so weird. For six days only, the Dokkan event will be available daily for the Rosé. Inherited Hope, there's a new limited attempt event. I think this is a once, yeah, this is a once per day thing. Similar to the Search of Light and Hope thing, I would imagine you just run through this event daily, no difficulty at all, and you just get stones. And uh, as far as the details for this, we'll have to wait until the actual event drops later on. A tonight. So, and oh, by the way, the weakness for the LR Goku Black Rosé is Vegeta's family. So Goku's family was the weakness for the TUR Goku Black. And now for the LR Goku Black, it's Vegeta's family. So a little symmetry there. So that covers the uh, the Rosé update. I'm sure a lot of you guys were eagerly waiting to find out about that. Now let's talk about the actual data download. So JP and Global are both diverging into their own separate Dokkan festivals. Global is getting Turles. JP is getting the Tournament of Power Android 17 and 18. Now we know what these units do, so I'm not going to go over these again. If you want to check that out, check out the previous video. Uh, but I'm instead going to go over these guys because we actually have a few new units to go over here. Then we're going to talk about the missions and then we'll switch over to the global side. So this is going to be a pretty meaty video. We'll start with the GT Android 18. So she raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage. This is not immense. 
This is just a translation thing. Causes supreme damage to the enemy. Increases superclass allies attack by 35% for one turn. I'm going to try to live translate this into the format that we're all accustomed to. So hopefully I'm able to do a good job. If I can't, I'll put something in the pinned comment. She becomes a 77% lead for likable opponents. What is that? Worthy rivals? Yeah, worthy, <laughs> worthy rivals. Yeah. Okay. And then for the passive attack and defense plus 150, when in slot one as the first attacker in a turn, uh, raise defense by 100%, reduces damage received by 18%. Oh, nice. Increase defense by 30% for all allies. That's awesome. For five turns from the start of battle, if you are in slot one, defense raised by another 100%, damage reduction increased by 18%. What? Okay, so you have double the defense and double the damage reduction. This is actually awesome. For five turns, this is a great slot one unit. That's fantastic. For three turns after being attacked, key plus two, attack plus 150, medium chance to launch a critical hit. Okay. You know what? I mean, I'll take that. So this seems to me like a full dodge build and then balance additional build. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this easy, eh? Um, looks, looks pretty good for a free-to-play unit, no less. Okay. Then for the AGL Hellfighter 17, artificial life form, 77%. Super attack causes supreme damage again, lowers attack and defense, and seals. That's what blocking enemies' super attack is. Attack and defense plus 150. What the heck? Attack and defense plus 150. Uh, defense, additional defense plus 100% when in slot 2 or 3. That's good. High chance to dodge and 17% increase in dodge for 3 turns from the start of battle. Cool. Attack and defense... Plus 20% up to 80 each time you evade enemies' attacks. Okay, full dodge. All right. Uh, from the fourth turn onwards, gain key plus two. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And gains an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Okay, so not too bad. These two GT ECAs are not too bad. Both are full dodge builds, in my opinion. You could argue full additional for the STR. But let me know in the comments how you guys would rate those two ECAs on a scale of 1 to 10. Now we've got more information on the Dragon Ball Saga unit. So this is the TUR free-to-play Kid Krillin. So he's a World Tournament sub-lead. Uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn. Causes supreme damage and seals. Cool. Attack and defense plus 120. Gains additional attack and defense plus 120 when performing a super attack. Additional attack plus 82% if the attacked opponent is sealed. Okay. Uh, attacked enemies attacked and defense minus 30%. Cool. Yo, you you nerf and you seal? Let's go. Key plus two, attack and defense plus 30% for all allies in the boy edition category. That's Dragon Ball Saga in the Dragon Ball Saga category. If HP is 88% or above at the start of the turn, there's a medium chance to launch an additional super attack. If HP is 86% or less at the start of the turn, then there is a medium chance to dodge. And once for three turns, scout enemies attack. What the heck is this unit? This is a free-to-play unit, right? What? Okay. Am I reading that right? I better be reading that right. I will clarify in the pinned comment again. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we've got the TUR for the Kid Goku. This is a Dragon Ball Saga lead. I actually don't remember. Is this a Dragon Ball Saga? Just, just to make sure. Let me let me go ahead and find that. So, uh, Dragon Ball Saga. Yes, he is a Dragon Ball Saga lead. So, Boyhood Edition was exactly what I said. 50% uh, lead. Okay, so for the super attack, raise attack and defense, cause supreme damage. Uh, attack and defense plus 70% when launching a super attack. And attack plus 20 for all allies in the Dragon Ball Saga category, except for the user, except for Kid Goku. Gains additional attack and defense plus 15 and crit chance plus 5 for each Dragon Ball Saga category ally on the team. Cool. If there is an ally who is in the Earthbred Warriors, what is it? Earthbred Fighter category, attacking in the same turn. Gain an additional attack and defense plus 70% and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. I think that's how it goes. Okay. So that is that. And now we've got two more units to cover. The TURs for the Tournament of Power Android. So let's take a look at the Int Android. So this is Universe Rival Saga 50%. Raises defense for one turn. Oh man, causes supreme damage and lowers attack. Okay. Attack plus 40, defense plus 30 with each key sphere obtained. Stop doing that. When character, when Android 18 is attacking, uh, when Android 18 is on the team, key plus one and attack plus 30 for all allies in the siblings bond category. If an ally, if Android 18 is attacking in the same turn, then you also gain attacks effective against all types. Um, attack and defense plus 70% when launching a super attack. If the opponent is stunned, I think is what unconscious translates to. If the opponent is stunned, 
you get an additional attack guaranteed that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. Seals the enemy's attack for two turns with a high chance. So this is a passive seal. Okay. I'm pretty sure I read that right. Now let's go and take a look at these. 18 is pretty much just going to be the polar opposite. This one raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. Universe Rebel Saga sub lead. Attack plus 30, defense plus 40 with each key sphere obtained. When 17 is on the team, key plus one, defense plus 30 for siblings bond. Uh, guards all attacks when 17 is attacking in the same turn. Oh, that's awesome. Attack and defense plus 70% when launching a super attack. If the opponent is sealed. Yeah. So if, if for this one, if the opponent is sealed, then gain attacks effective against all types. High chance to stun for two turns. So there you go. They're basically uh, working in tandem. So the you know if they're together, they will do obviously more. But there you go. That is what all of the free-to-play units do. So now that we've covered what the units do, now let's take a look at the missions real quick. Just quickly scouting ahead. We've got uh, new missions for the JP side. Obviously, their campaign, usual Dokkan Festival campaign stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything? Is there anything of note that I want to point out here? Oh, this is the mission for the uh, LR Goku Black Rose. The new GT missions as well. You're going to be getting copies of the Krillin, uh, one copy of the Krillin, just by doing the event. So that's cool. And then for the story event revamp, just get a couple of these. Okay, so nothing. Nothing too fancy, but there you go. That is the JP data download. So now let's take a look at the global data download. And I'm sorry, I normally would split these up, but because I was spending all day setting up my PC, I just don't have the time. It would just be too delayed. So now let's take a look at the global data download. We've got Dr. Wheelo from the Prime Battle, as expected. We've got Turles, we've got Almond and Razin. We got Daze and Cow Cow, and then we got the other Turles. Um, let's take a look at the Dr. Wheelow, shall we? Dr. Wheelow is a revenge. Category lead, key plus for a 130%. For the super attack, raises defense for one turn, causes colossal and lowers attack. Raises defense, attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and seals super attack. Okay. And then for the passive, since this is a prime battle, it's going to start out with static boosts, but eventually when he gets his EZA, it will change into a percentage based one. Activates entrance animation once only. Key plus four. Defense plus 80,000 for four turns from the start of the turn. When there's another revenge category ally on the team at the start of the character's attacking turn. Key plus three. Attack and defense plus 100,000. This may seem like a lot, new players, but trust me, this doesn't amount to much in the end. Well, I mean, it's not that bad, but still. You want percentages. You don't want static boosts. Plus an additional key, plus three, attack and defense, plus 60,000 when facing only one enemy at the start of the turn. And if the enemy's HP is 60% or more, gain it, plus an additional attack, plus 60,000 and medium chance to crit. That's so conditional. Plus an additional key, plus two, attack, plus 40,000, defense, plus 100,000, and medium chance to guard all attacks when facing two or more enemies at the start of the turn. Plus an additional attack, plus 60,000, and performs a critical hit when HP is 40% or less. And then for the active skill, you will massively raise attack temporarily, cause ultimate damage to the enemy, can be activated when health is 40% or less, or when facing only one enemy whose health is 60% or more, starting from turn 5 from the start of battle. You get all that? So that is the free-to-play prime battle unit. What is the release date for these guys? So for global, it looks like October 4th, 11.30 p.m. PDC, basically two days from now. And then for JP, um, basically two days from now as well. Just a little bit, a couple of hours later. So... That is the full breakdown for all of the data download stuff. If there's anything else that I otherwise missed, I will let you guys know in the pinned comment. Um, all of the information is still pouring in in terms of like, you know, curating all the information, but I think we covered everything. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there is an easy, an easy a support campaign. So JP is getting the uh, Extreme Z battle awakening support thing. So they're gonna be getting extra Hercule statues for this one. Is Global getting this as well? I don't know if actually, I don't know if Global's getting this. Because if we look at the JP News, it shows. But if we go to the Global side, let me pull up Global. Yellow. Yellow. Cool. Though Conan falls down. All right, cool. Uh, I don't know. Hope, hopefully, uh, we get that for both versions. I would imagine we do. There wouldn't be any reason for it to not happen. But then again, it is Dokkan. Never apply logic to Dokkan. So anyway, that is about it. I don't want to spend too much more time. This is already a pretty lengthy video, and I would like to keep this relatively reasonable. Um, oh, this guy. No, we already know what he does. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. 
me know in the comments your thoughts on all of this stuff, all this information that I'm throwing at you. Are you going to be there for the LR Goku Black Rose Easy A tonight? Are you excited for the Turles Easy A? No, sorry. Excited for the Turles Dokkan Festival dropping on Global in a couple of days. JP players, are you guys excited for the Android 1718 dropping in a couple of days? Let me know your thoughts about all of the units and more and anything that I missed overall in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know you're going to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.